The International Fire Stop Council has developed an extremely practical guide for inspecting fire stop systems, which can be found on their website at www.firestop.org. First, the local authority having jurisdiction should always approve fire stop system details and fire stop products in accordance with local building code and the specification laid forth by the authorizing agency. This includes the tested and listed fire stop systems and the corresponding fire stop materials. Since unique conditions on construction projects exist that require special consideration, engineering judgments are fairly common. The International Fire Stop Council has published another guide to assist designers, plan reviewers, and inspectors in addressing these non-conforming construction details. The coordination of work among the general contractor, the subcontractor, and the building inspector is best done during the pre-construction phase. It's important to develop an inspection schedule since the application of fire stop systems can be affected by the work of many trades, including mechanical, plumbing, electrical, and drywall contractors, just to name a few. The ability of penetration and joint systems to perform to their intended function of fire containment is directly related to the quality of their installations. That is why a thorough inspection is an integral component of any passive fire protection quality control program. The IFC has developed two more tools for assisting you when inspecting fire stop systems. The first is a convenient inspector pocket guide called the Fire Stopping Inspection Manual. And the next is the recommended guidelines for performing deconstructive testing for installed penetration fire stop systems, fire resistive joint systems, or perimeter fire barrier systems. Again, you can find that on their website, www.firestop.org.